welcome to Tex Nation TV. We have a special week this week planned for you. Yes, indeed we do. We are here in Las Vegas, Nevada. Look at it. <laughs> exactly. We're here for CES 2014. We have... I've been here for a few hours. I, I know that you kind of had a bit of a... We'll just say some fun in your travels today. Tell us... Yeah. Tell us how you got here. Um, let me pull up some <laughs> paperwork I got here. You guys got to see this because he showed this to me earlier and I felt so bad. Uh, <laughs> so because of the uh, snowpocalypse that was happening in the East Coast, that's bad things. But I went to Atlanta, uh, Salt Lake City, Tucson, <laughs> Dallas. I'm Albuquerque, and finally, I'm here. <laughs> yeah, so what's funny is I actually, uh, Alan works for the airport in an indirectly, directly, kind of, sort of, if he maybe, but he has, you know, free pass at, at some sort. I, I, like a commoner, have to pay for a ticket. So I paid for my ticket, and I only had to make one stop. I had to go from Nashville to Denver, and then Denver to Vegas, and I was here. And that was it. That was the end of my flight. Yeah. You sure. took like 15 stops. I wish your flight would have ended like John Denver's flight. <laughs> <laughs> but well, yeah, yeah um, that, I mean, that's the price you pay. Uh, I do get free flights, but they're non-revenue standby flights. Right, so you have to wait until with someone... With the weather, CES, uh, apparently there's big bowl games happening. Also, yeah, there's a lot of bowl games NFL going NFL games happening. Just yeah. Getting I, to the West Coast was just... Impossible. Yeah, and the other thing was getting here. Also, I actually got my badge just as well, which was kind of cool because this year they're adding. And I don't know if you can see this on camera, but behind uh, there is an NFC chip here, so that they, they, there's stuff that you can go and check out, different booths, things like that. So can you? I can. I can probably do something with my phone. I haven't messed with it yet, but yeah, I, huh. I went and got my NFC badge, and since I got here early. I, I told Alan, I said, you know, all right, we'll go here or do this or go here, do that. Go pick up the At the badge. airport where we normally pick up, well, our badge holders. Because right. they used to send us our badge, but... This year was different, yeah. Now they got all technical. <laughs> yeah, so... At CES, who would have thought? <laughs> so I, I, I said, you know, I got my badge. Go pick up your badge. Now tell me, tell me what happened when you got to the airport. All right, so I got to the airport, found the badge, uh, pick up location right and handed the lady my phone and the way they did it this year was they didn't mail out the badges they sent you a confirmation number with a little qr code so you give the phone to the person working the desk they scan it okay your information comes up and this badge prints which is just um it's just a little piece of paper that they print right on top the they, nfc is the only thing that's yeah they, everything else yeah so yeah, you get this little thing yeah. right here. Well, she scanned it and she said, she looked at the computer and right then I just knew just from the day I was having, it couldn't <laughs> go smooth. It just it had to keep, the <laughs> snowball just had to keep getting bigger and bigger and bigger. <laughs> but she was like, well, this has happened before. I'll just reset the computer. And when I heard reset the computer, I, just, I, I put my head down. And I was like, okay, do what you got to do. She reset the computer, scanned my phone again, and then it said, oh, we're showing your badge is already printed. Now, now I'm going to let anyone <laughs> who deals with, I guess, technology, or it's, anyone that's turned on a computer, <laughs> it's been scanned once. The printer didn't work. But have you ever printed a document and all of a sudden the computer stops working? It still sits in that printer queue. It's in the queue. Right. I just didn't have <laughs> the patience to explain it to this lady. She was doing her job, I guess, and I, I was still in an airport, so if I would have raised a ruckus... Yeah, exactly. I would have made the news, still wouldn't have made CES. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the registration office tomorrow and try to straighten yeah, it Yeah, we're, we're going to try to straighten it up. So... Alan's had a day. Hopefully, he's going to get some rest before we get going. Yeah, but that's a bloodshot. There, 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 have, there have been a few things that we want to talk about that have been announced and or talked about before we even got here. Uh, it seems that Samsung was noted and possibly going to be bringing out the Note Pro 
to kind of go along with like Apple's Mac Pro and the MacBook Pro and then the Mac Air, you know. So the they're MacBook bringing out Air. their own trash can. Well, not not the Mac Pro, but they wanted to go with the Tablet Pro, so they're going to be bringing out the. It's supposedly a Tab Pro, which is like twelve. Is it a tablet? No, it's a twelve-inch tablet, which is bigger than oh, the twelve-inch. Yeah, bigger than the Note ten point one twenty fourteen edition that they just announced six months ago. Mm-hmm. So now it's been rumored, but now it's pretty much in the books because it's up on the wall at the Vegas Convention Center. It's it's on the wall. So hopefully we'll have uh, get some hands on with that. We'll see what it looks like. I was hoping that announcement wasn't as horrible as the Note three announcement. Well, the Note three announcement I thought was great. Except for all the getting into the hands-on. I mean, it's the whole reason why I went and got my Note 3. I mean, what, what, was, what was bad about it? The keynote. The overall thing? Yeah, oh, the guy, yeah. The, gla- the white glasses who... <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, yeah. And the, that's when they tried to, like, oh, we got the gear. You know, it's going to be great. Everybody's going to love it. It's a watch that you can talk to. <laughs> No. Yeah, nobody's bought one. I've even had friends of mine who they went to their local Verizon store. They got a Note Three because of all the hubbub about it, and I'm sure you know me purchasing one and me having it for a few weeks. He probably saw it and was like, "Yeah, I'd like to play with one." So he got himself one. When he went to the Verizon store, they're like, "Oh, you can also you know get the Galaxy Gear that goes with it." And they're like, "Oh, okay, cool. How much?" You know, the three hundred dollars, four hundred dollars, whatever it is. I think it's yeah. three fifty. He's like, "Uh, I'm good." And there's a lot of people, and we'll see this as we go on throughout this week, but there's a lot of people going into the Fitbits and the Nike bands and the... Uh, well, our, our uh, yeah. iPods still have the Nike band, uh, uh, Yeah, Nike Plus. Plus built into it. Yeah, so. so this may still work for me and you for quite a while, uh, but a lot of people are, they don't like the bulkiness of some of these smart, fo- smart watches, uh, so some of them go with the Fitbit, and again, like I said, we'll see more about this as we go on into this week. But smartwatches aren't really, you know, there yet. So we're going to see what happens. But a but, lot more wearable uh, fitness technology. Yeah, we're going to hopefully see a lot more of that this week. Uh, also, it was uh, a couple other vendors that are going to be here is the Oculus Rift. And for many of you that have seen this before, this is the huge VR set from like the 1980s that, you know, sits in front of your eyeballs and gives you that 3D. Oh, the Virtual Boy. Yeah, well, not the Virtual Boy, because that thing was red and black, and that was it, and you got to play Mario Tennis, and that's the only reason why I ever got it. But it was was virtual. (laughs) But anyway, the Oculus Rift is going to be here. Hopefully, we're going to get some hands-on with that this week. Also, uh, Steam, if you know anything about gaming on the PC or Mac, uh, Steam is one of those that's also out there. It's been around for quite a while. I have an account that's about nine and a half years old, and they basically download all your games for you in like an EXE package and you can continue buying games through the Steam store. Well, Steam has been partnering with other hardware providers and they now have announced and basically there's 12 hardware providers just gonna build Steam boxes to go out there against these items like the Oculus Rift or the Xbox One, which is kinda and the PS4, which has a lot better graphics, I will have to say, has a lot better graphics. And Sony's here. And Sony is here. We're so hoping, something will be announced. Yeah, we're hoping to see something. It may not be gaming-wise, but Sony is here. We're going to see that. But like I said, uh, Steam is going to be showing off 12 different uh, hardware provider or not hardware providers, but hardware partners that they've got. So hopefully we're going to see that this week just as well. Danielle should be with us by the end of this week, hopefully, we we think. If she didn't you know, fall in the snowocalypse... Somewhere we gotta dig her out. I don't know, but she's still in Nashville right now. Yeah. So anyway, hopefully we'll hear from her. And I I think there's a few other things from Intel. Uh, some other things from Samsung. LG had announced a hundred and five inch, twenty one by nine curved, curved television. Now, if you guys haven't seen this, basically twenty one by nine is a wider HD TV than what you're used to. What you're typically on is a sixteen by nine ratio TV. This is your standard HD TV that you see at Walmart, Best Buy, whatever. 21 by 9 actually adds on a little bit more and gives you more of the movie ratio for your Blu-ray movies or even your DVD movies if you, if you still have got them. But the 21 by 9 gets rid of the black bars on the top and bottom, basically, and just fills your screen. Unless it depends on if it's like a 2 to 2.35 ratio or a 1 point, you know, it's all in the ratio and how they shoot the movie. 
but it's really cool because it's a curved display and LG is going to be announcing a lot more items this year. They've already announced the LG something or other. Yeah, uh, so yeah, look out for that something or other. <laughs> but here it's a wind dinger. Yeah, it looked a lot like the Nexus from previous years back with the uh, curved display, but apparently the Nexus from back then was a curved piece of glass on top of a flat display. So that kind of flopped. Yeah, apparently it didn't pick up as much. So LG is going to be talking a lot of curved displays. We're going to see what happens there. We're going to be here all week long for CES 2014. Also, keynotes, uh, Twitter. Not Twitter. Well, yeah. Twitter. Twitter is here. Well, they're here. He's somebody's here. They're here. Then yeah. People are like, why is Twitter here? So, I guess we're gonna find out as well. And yeah. Then after Rusty gets arrested for trying to find out, <laughs> to bail him out. Uh, yeah. Um, Marissa Meyer's here. Right. We're gonna try to go and see the. We're gonna uh, try to get her number. Yep. <laughs> for all you guys out there, because she is a good-looking CEO. <laughs> hey. Yeah. Who else will get out there? Look at this jacket. (laughs) Knocking him down. Yeah. Uh, uh, Sony. Sony. Uh, We already saw who. I'll be checking out the uh, Audi. He's going to go to the Audi, I think, uh, on the Monday night. I think. Is that tomorrow night? I think. I think. Whatever. Yeah, whenever this is released. Exactly. So, yeah, Alan's going to be out there at the Audi thing, and we're going to try to be as everywhere as much as we can. JR, you had asked about going to go uh, uh, rethink wireless, maybe. Uh, don't quote me on that right here on this video, but we're going to try to hit that up. We've also got other technology hosts that are out here that have been doing it for years. Mm-hmm. Uh, Revision, 3, Revision 3 is here. Uh, Engadget's here. TechCrunch is here. Uh, John and Callie with the Geek Beat crew, their whole crew, they're going to be here live streaming. Hopefully we can go see them. Uh, but we will do our best to cover as much as we can and maybe all the small stuff that maybe all the big names can't cover. But yeah. we're going to be here all week long, so make sure down below in the comments... Let us know, is there something that you want to see, particularly at CES? We will do our best, and make sure you follow us online. We are on Twitter.com slash TV, Facebook.com slash TV. We are on G plus dot T-O slash TV, Twitter.com slash TV. Already did Twitter. Twitter. Just go to the website. All right, TV. It's been a long flight. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Making it rain. Subscribe, guys. Like it and share. Thanks for watching.